friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILD authentication. Inside this video, we'll create list student API. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we had seen and discussed all about add student API. Now this time, we'll list all the students what we have inside our table. So back to browser. So as we can see that inside this students table, we have four different number of rows so we'll create an api by the help of that we'll list all the students what we have inside this table back to editor go inside app controllers api and api controller.php so inside this api controller class here we have the method called list students we'll hit this method using get request type so before operating with database, let's create an object of a student model. So here, let's say student object new student model. And by the help of this object, we'll call find all method. So here, let's say students equals to student object and we'll use find all method. Let's implement the condition of if else. It means if not equals to empty. If this variable is not empty, it means we have some data, otherwise we don't have any data. So if we have data, let's go inside this if block, response equals to, let's say status equals to true, message equals to, let's say students found, and we have one more key that will be for data data equals to students now go inside this else block it means we don't have any data so response equals to here let's say status equals to false message let's say no student found and data it will be an empty array save all these changes so go after if else block and Go after if else block and here I will return this response. So return respond created. This respond created. And inside this, I will pass this response variable. So all we have done with this list students method. Now let's do a unit testing of that. I will go inside this postman. So first of all, let's start its development server. So php spark serve press enter. It will start the development server. As you can see here, let's copy our project URL. So copy link, go here. I will paste our URL into this URL bar. After that forward slash API forward slash and if I go here, let's go inside config. From this config, let's go inside routes.php. And if I will copy this route called list-students. So copy, go here. So after API, put it here. This URL will hit using get request type. So click on send button. And as you can see that we are getting a proper response in JSON format. Status equals to true message equals to students found and here inside this data we are getting all the students what we have inside our table so successfully now we have created one more api one more method inside this api controller in the next video we'll see some more different concept so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day